I mean, we, we, gotta, we gotta start the show and, and Russ isn't here. I mean, like we got, we got the lights going crazy and, and I mean, you know, there's a spotlight on me. It's all dark in here. There's I my... know, I, I, I don't think he's here, but he wanted no? me to give you something. Yeah? Yeah, here, let, let me find it real quick. Oh, okay. I mean, like, like what kind I'm of a thing? Is it like a, like, like, like wait, well, what is it? Well, hold on, let me play it real quick. Okay. It's just a little recording. Oh. You wanted me to pass a message along to you. A message? Yeah. And now a spectacle three years in the making. Please put your hands together and give a very warm welcome to tonight's guest host, the one and only Johnny Norman. No pressure at all. Thank you so much for that. So welcome to the open stage! <laughs> Ow. So, three years. It was three years ago, March 26th. I walked into not this room, but a very different room after a calculus class, as it happens. I was bored, thought to myself, I need something to do with a Monday night that's not more calculus or laundry. It's funny how that works out, Monday nights before circus turn out to be laundry night, and after circus it's anything but. But it's, it's interesting, I walked into the old venue, and while yes, it was in a different location, yes, there were hookahs, yes, there was food, all the specifics may have changed, but there was one thing that still hasn't. The first night I walked in, there were three things that I thought to myself. One, I know every single one of these people, I just haven't met them yet. The, the fact that I could walk into a room and feel that level of love and support and camaraderie with people I was just waiting to be introduced to is amazing, it is astounding, and it's something I still see today. The second thing I thought was, hey, that guy on stage introducing the acts is kind of a dweeb, but you know what, I also kind of want his job. <laughs> and hey, look at that. <laughs> I, I, I am tonight's dweeb in chief, dweeb master general. Deputy Clown. No, that's terrible because that implies that A, we have hierarchy, and B, anybody's in charge. That's, that's not something you want to associate with the circus. But the third thing that I realized when I walked in there is, yeah, I kind of want that guy's job, and yeah, all these people are amazing, and I love them all already, even though I haven't even met them yet. I realized that if I wanted to be a part of this thing, I was going to have to put in a lot of work. And I did. Not only that, I saw the work that everybody else was putting in to be a part of this thing, to be a part of the tech crew. I, I've seen people come and go, but when they were here, they busted their asses like nobody's business. And I've seen people come on this stage and work harder than I have seen anywhere else because they want to do something for their friends, for their family, for all of you. And the amount of work, the amount of love and companionship that comes to this stage is just mind-boggling. Even today, after three years, there has been so much growth, and I just want to say thank you to all of you for making that possible. And it happens right here at the open stage. <laughs> 